What is up guys, Austin Richo here, and today we're opening another Marvel Legends set, and this time it's a Spider-Man Homecoming set. So of course we got a whole bunch of different Spider-Man characters going on here, and we'll kind of go through each one real quick. So of course, um, this, the two Spider-Man and the Vulture here all are from Spider-Man Homecoming, and the rest are just Spider-Man uh, characters or ones you see in Spider-Man. So we'll start off with this one. So this is just the um, normal classic looking Spider-Man, but he's in the suit that Tony Stark gives him in Spider-Man Homecoming. Then we have Peter Parker in his homemade suit that he like had in uh, Homecoming. And then, so just to finish off the bottom here, it's hard to see because of light, but I can like get, move my hand. We have what looks to be like a cosmic Spider-Man. It's just labeled Spider-Man, but he has a weird face that I've never seen before and stuff. But um, we have that one. Then Moon Knight over here, which is really cool, which is kind of by itself, but it does, you know, belongs in the world along with Spider-Man. Then of course up here we have the Vulture, which again lighting is hard to see and it's hard to get all in the picture here. But we have the Vulture, so the Michael Keaton character from Spider-Man Homecoming and so he's kind of like a big feature focal point of this. And then we have Beetle and Tombstone, which are classic Spider-Man uh, villains and stuff that you've seen if you watch a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Um, but all of these, usually with the Marvel Legends, of course you get um, body parts that go together and build a character but in this set they all just come with a piece to build the wings for vulture so like each little part has a set of wings that you then you know put them all together and then stick them on vulture as his big giant wing things so we're going to go ahead and open all of the characters up and then we'll go through each of them individually and then at the very end put all the pieces together and build um, vulture and so I'll put a, um, go ahead and get these all open and I'll bring it right back and so first up here we have just the regular um, Spider-Man again in his normal suit from Spider-Man Homecoming as I said earlier. So we have the Spider-Man of course with the big wide eyes. The little tiny spider which again in the movie like comes off of his chest and flies around and can like do like a little drone type stuff. Um, and so he's just in that like I said the suit that Tony gave him. And so with this he does have his um, like Spider-Man hands as a whole like web shooting thing. He's got the spider there on his back. And, of course, all the black outlining, again, signifying that it is the suit that Tony gave him. So with this Spider-Man, or so you have that, and then with the Spider-Man, you can also, it comes with a head, so you can do it. So it's got the, like, squinting eyes, because in the movie, his eyes, like, change size and everything to show emotion and all that. And then he does also come with the corresponding hands, so you can switch out to a fist. So you can have two fists, or you can um, put the other web slinging, or the web shooting hand or whatever in that one, so you can have both. And then he does also come with the web, um, like, glider type things that go in between his arms. It's kind of hard because they just kind of stick in there. And so you can then put them to its side. So, like, when he does the um, gliding part in the movie, uh, it just kind of shows that. Like I said, it doesn't look very good. And they're, they only just kind of stick in one part and stuff. So you can do that as well. And then it also comes with whatever just a piece of the wings as I said for vulture so I assume this goes into like its back or some so it's just a big upper part of the wing there so I'll set that aside and before we go with say let's see the box says when crime hits the big city Peter Parker suits up as New York's own web slinging wall crawler hero spider-man so that's what we got on spider-man there so this again was just the regular classic old spy well not classic but the regular homecoming suit spider-man and then very similar to the last one, we have the homemade suit Spider-Man. So again, this was Peter Parker's homemade suit that he made and wore at a few parts in the movie. Um, so again, he has like a hoodie sweatshirt type thing um, at, with like the whole sp spider as you can see there and stuff. And then he just has the um, blue, so red jacket and then he's got red shoes as well. And then the blue sleeves and pants, you know, correspond with the red and blue of Spider-Man. He's got the um, gauntlet things I pretty sure have his um web in it so like he swings the or slings the web or something and then his hands of course this one has the opposite hand done as the web shooter part but it also like the last one comes with the opposite hand so you can have the hand with so both hands are the web shooting or you can have both that are fist so you can you know switch the hands out with that and then he has his uh, hoodie thing, which I assume you'd probably just pop the head off, which I'm not going to do. Which, by the way, there's just a close-up. So he has, like, his goggle eyes. And then just, like, some sort of, like, mask type thing. I think it's supposed to be, like, a ski mask um, that he 
uh, put the goggles on and stuff, but you can, I believe, take the head off and then remove the hoodie, so you can then put on, whoops, the full hoodie thing, so you can, you know, like, stick it on over his head, or stick it onto his head, so it looks like he's actually wearing the hoodie in this case, and then he also does come with the, um, the other part of the wing, so the same piece, just for the opposite side of the wings, so I'll set that aside, and so for this one we have when Peter Parker discovers spider-like senses and wall crawling abilities he develops his own suit to become Spider-Man. So again just signifying that it is his ho homemade suit there so that is the homemade suit Spider-Man. And next up here is Moon Knight. So this is kind of really cool or interesting uh, character like I don't know a whole lot about but I've seen him before and I think he's uh, really cool and stuff but I've heard it mentioned in the past that he's kind of like the um, Batman of the Marvel Universe like the closest one in similarities I don't know exactly why that is but um, by his looks and the stuff he has it's um, pretty cool and I could see why but um, so for Moon Knight here he's in a black and white costume usually he wears all white like in the classic version he just has an all white outfit but he has the moon on him and like little moons all over well moon designs like he has them there on like his thumbs and then on the side just little like crescent moon um, shapes and stuff but he just looks so awesome so this one obviously comes with the cape as you can see um, so that just looks really cool it has a thing on its back so I don't know what you can oh it's just for his cape I guess and it's not in there I don't know if I can get it pushed in. There we go. So now it's more steady, I guess. His cape on the back. Um, so that's really cool. And then so Moon Knight comes with a like staff type thing. Um, kind of like how the Daredevil did in the last set. But it comes apart so you can have two d separate st um, sticks. But then they can uh, go together to be one solid like staff. He comes with uh, two fists. So instead of having open hands, you can switch them out for the fist so if you want to have him fist for punching and then this is kind of cool he also does come with um little moons so he has like this one and so they're kind of like the batarangs or like a boomerang type thing so he has them that you can throw and he has the giant one and then it's hard to see but he has these three little tiny ones and i don't know exactly what you do a hold because like this one you know perfectly fits in his hand but i don't know what you do with these um little tiny ones here um I guess they, they just probably get lost and I don't see really anywhere on him that you can like stick them or anything so I don't know exactly what you do with those um, but then he got, also comes with for Vulture the part of the wing so one of the big like feather area parts that will set aside to build later and then just on Moon Knight here it says a vision of an Egypt or sorry a vision in an Egypt, Egyptian temple leads Mark Spector to don Silver Shroud and become the crime-fighting hero Moon Knight. So there's just a little information on Moon Knight there, and I just think he looks super cool. And so next up here, we have another Spider-Man. I don't know exactly what's called. I call it like Cosmic Spider-Man, just because it um, of like the house um, outfit design here. But it kind of looks like the um, Vance Astro we got in a, one of the Marvel Legends sets a few months ago. But um, it, so obviously, as you can see here, it has like the little mask over the face. That's the Spider-Man outfit so that's what kind of I guess makes it Spider-Man like I said I don't know much of anything about this I have no clue what it is but I like this metallic blue design that of course covers its upper body and has all these like um, circles with the connecting lines kind of like a connect the dot type thing and then uh, just a lower white body and so that's really all that there is to him like it's just the same you know on both sides um, but he does come with a mask so there's this one without the spider-man so or the spider-man part so it's just you know his normal face which this one really does look like Vance Astro with that on there and then it also comes with this face of some guy which again I have no clue who this is but it's just a face right there as you can see I don't like I said I have no clue who it is or anything and there's really no information um, it also does come with the one uh, you know another part of Vulture's wing so we'll set that aside to build later and then just the information on this box it says with incredible strength stamina and cosmic senses Spider-Man battles timelessly on the side of universal justice so I don't know if this is supposed to just be like Peter Parker, like an older version. And then he like, you know, goes into space and stuff. And, you know, probably with uh, um, the Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy type thing and joins them and has this outfit instead. Not exactly sure, but that's the what I'm calling Cosmic Spider-Man. And next up we have Tombstone here. Of course, this is one of Spider-Man's 
uh, big villains. And I remember Tombstone from the old Spider-Man cartoon show back in the 90s that I used to watch all the time. So I'm kind of like familiar, you know, with who the character is. Not anything about him, though. Um, but he's like a... Um, I think he's supposed to be like a zombie or vampire or something. I don't, like I said, I don't know exactly much about him. Like, I've seen him before, I know that much and know the name Tombstone. But I think he's supposed to be like a vampire because it's kind of what he looks like in the face. If you could see that, kind of looks like a bat, like with the flat nose and everything. But he just looks really cool. But he has his white flat top and his like bluish gray skin and then just a bl normal black outfit. Being an ass kicker and everything. And of course, has a belt with like the studs all over it. Um, and then boots and stuff. And so like I said, there's not much to Tombstone there. He looks really cool though. He does come with this part of Vulture's wings. So just kind of like spin type thing. Which is kind of cool. Um, and then his box since... So with a lot of these Marvel Legends, they share boxes with the other characters. So him and Beetle share the same. But I'll just read the back on this one. It says, when Battle for Justice is underway, enhancement, artificial enhancements make these villains stronger, faster, and even more of a threat. So that um, goes for obviously both of those. There's not just specific. Um, but yeah, not much to Tombstone. Just looking really cool. And like I said, like a vampire, I believe. But he just looks really cool. But that is Tombstone. And next up is Beetle, which I think looks really cool. So it's a um, blue and purple uh, villain here. So it kind of reminds me a lot of the Goblin or Hobgoblin, whichever. Or I think it's the Green Goblin or whatever. That has the uh, green and purple. But it just looks really cool. So as a mask up here, supposed to be with like bug eyes, you know. So like I said, trying to portray like a beetle. Um, but this one is kind of cool. Um, as you see, just kind of plain. Just has um, purple like an outfit. So like gloves, um, whatever you call this, like a belt and trunks, and then boots and everything. And the rest is all metallic green. So it just looks really cool color wise and stuff. Um, but the cool thing is on its back here, it then has parts so you can stick. Uh, these um, bug pieces so it's got like um, wings and then like the shell of the wings so I'll just kind of try and pop these in real quick if I can figure out how you do it let's see if we can I don't know which side goes into what but let's see if we can get the wings on here so we got the wings on at least um, but like I said, I don't know how... Yeah, they should probably go this way. There we go. So we got like... So it has like an outer shell type thing, you know, like some bugs do. At least I think that's on correctly. Hopefully I'm not messing this up. So let's see if we can get the back on. There, so it popped in. And then we can pop these wings on the back. There we go. So now Beetle has all his wings, or I assume um, all the wings going on here. So like I said, the blue, or the blue, the like purple casings here on the back, like I said, I think you could like probably close up um, on the back, like if you wanted to somehow close these all up it like close like that on his back and so that opens up to reveal the wings and then they just you know spread out and then we have beetle right there so that looks really cool and again his box just shows the same stuff as tombstone so i'm not going to read the same thing over again but he does come with a corresponding you know same part as tombstone did for vulture's wings so we'll set that aside and so that is beetle and our last but not least character here is Vulture. So, of course, again, like I said, this is the Michael Keaton character from Spider-Man Homecoming. So, that's what this is based off of. So, he has his, like, uh, I forget what they call it, um, but, like, um, zero oxygen mass type thing. So, he can, you know, fly high in the air and stuff and not have to worry about it. Kind of like um, pilots and jets wear and stuff. Then he has, like, a um, kind of like a pilot's jacket there, too, to go along with it. And then very tactical pants with you know, all sorts of pucks on it with these giant bird or giant claw feet here of course they're like boots or something that he wears but so he can pick up stuff like a vulture and so he just looks really cool um yeah there's not much more to that um itself but then it does come with um the like main backpack well, i call it backpack but like the main part of 
um, his vulture wings. So I really like this blue and purple stuff they did. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but it has a little peg here that you can just stick into um, the back. So I'll do that here in a second. This also does come with um, a stand so you can put the um, suit into it. So if you put all the wings together, you can stick it on and hold it. So it's kind of like um, in the movie, he comes down and the wings attach, detach and they're on like a whole stand type thing. So you can stick this on and then just to like help hold it and display and possibly, maybe not, I say maybe even um, help hold him up. So let's put this on here real quick. So you just push it there into his back and let's see if it um, would hold. I don't know if his feet are going to be in the way. Let's see. Those feet are causing problems, that's for sure. So yeah, you can kind of do that. So his feet have to be like stuck out a little. But this can probably just help you, um, if you want to do this, help hold um, Vulture up. Um, but so now that we have all of that, so of course all the wing parts and stuff, we can tend to take all the other pieces here and put it all together and then stick it on. Okay, so I got it all put back, or put together, not back together. Um, so it's kind of hard to fit in the camera. So of course here's... Um, the upper wings and then they can um, obviously fold down. I don't know, like I said, I don't know exactly how they work and everything. Um, but there is the wings there, so I'll flip it over onto the back. So of course here are the two um, like spinning uh, parts. I don't know how exactly these things are supposed to work, but obviously they spin and stuff and help him fly. There's the backpack there, so there's that piece, this piece here, and then the wings, um, which again, like I said, can like bend around and move all sorts of direction stuff so you can get a lot of movement going on here um, so like this kind of shape and stuff with him standing up and then we can do uh, the one thing is like these parts they like to like just move on their own like they're real like wobbly and stuff so that's um, one thing that's probably not great about this but let's go ahead and try and put it in the stand now so there, so now it is in the stand, so standing up, so it helps, like I said, or it can probably help. Oh no, <laughs> okay, it's way too heavy. Um, but come on, flip over here. Okay, so, but anyways, so that is the Vulture Marvel Legends set, again, for Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, so it's a really cool set, it has, this one comes with a bunch of different characters, um, I think it's like seven characters all together to build it. So it was really cool and stuff. Um, but that's going to be it for this opening of the Marvel Legends set. So if you enjoyed, please leave a, a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have, down below, how, have uh, leave any comments you have down below. And let me know which character was your favorite out of this set. And any information that you have for me on any of the characters that I was able to provide for you. Um, but do all that and hit the red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.